They have come from around America to play a board game, a 60-year-old board game that some people might find, well, a little bit geeky. But not these kids. They love playing Scrabble. They get up early in the morning to study words, they beat their parents and friends with ease, and they love to compete. That's just what they'll be doing here in Providence, Rhode Island as they go for the gold and a $5,000 first prize at the 2008 National School Scrabble Championship. Welcome to Providence, everybody. I'm Ben Lyons. Now, we all know and love the game of Scrabble for the words and letters one can play, but today, here in Providence, Rhode Island at the 2008 National School Scrabble Championship, the story is in the numbers. We've got over 200 kids from 100 teams around the country representing 22 states and the District of Columbia competing for $10,000 in prizes. Now, my good buddy, we call him the word freak, Stefan Fatsis, knows about all the 140 thousand words in the official player's dictionary. He's in the championship room now. Stefan? Yeah, that's pretty funny, Ben. I wish I knew all the words in that book. Those kids out there with you, they're trying to get in here to the championship room. Two teams of two players will be competing for the $5,000 first prize, $2,000 to the runner-up. They'll be playing on a special 60th anniversary commemorative Scrabble board. Big version behind me, little one on the table. They'll be using plastic tiles called Pro Tiles. The last thing the players have to think about is the clock. 22 minutes per team for the whole game. Thank you, Stefan. 104 teams here in Providence, and everyone's played five games so far. You can see the Bracketology. The Princeton Day School from Princeton, New Jersey, takes on the Atlanta Tucker Community Center from Tucker, Georgia. And the Westport Scrabble Club of Westport, Connecticut, faces off against Winter Haven Elementary from Newburgh, Oregon. I'm going to toss it on over to Stefan with the play-by-play. Thanks, Ben. That's William E. Zekowitz of the Princeton Day School on the left and his teammate Benjamin Marrow. Their opponents, Joey Kraftchik and Dorian Hill from the Atlanta Tucker Community Center. The first few plays are on the board and the first bingo's going down. Bingo, the Scrabble term for using all seven of your tiles at once, which as players at home know carries a 50-point bonus. Mm -hmm. 